Hello, it's me, Sarah, and as most of you already know, I've been tagged, finally, by the YouTuber Licious04, which is good because I was beginning to feel just a little bit left out with everybody else kind of getting tagged. So, now, basically, I have to state five facts about myself that maybe some of you viewers out there didn't know about me. This should be a pretty easy video to make because, <laughs> you know, I just love talking about me. I'm only half kidding. So, fact number one. I love Bobby Darren. And I don't think people really generally know this about me. <laughs> Relax. I'm just kidding. Everybody knows I love Bobby. And I just adore him. Seriously, though. Fact number one. Two qualities that I hate most in people. People who are unreliable because sometimes I'll base my entire day around plans that me and someone might have made, and then when they don't contact me or when they don't show up, I get really, really depressed. And I know I really shouldn't base my entire day on other people, but sometimes I do, like when we make plans and stuff, and then, like I said, people don't show up or people don't contact me or people don't send me reviews when they say they're going to. Then I get really down and depressed because it's like I just it just builds up and I'm just like looking forward to it and I'm counting down the hours and then when this, you know, event doesn't take place, I get very unhappy. Second quality that I hate most in people is fakeness. You know, like how some people will act around their family where they're just like completely real and themselves and then when they get out around their friends and they just kind of show, show off and goof off a little bit and act up and get a little bit crazy. Just, you know, I like people who can be themselves around everybody and just be honest and open about the kind of stuff they like and not feel like they have to hide all this stuff from a certain group of people because they might not be accepted. So, I don't like fakeness. Fact number two. My first huge crush on an actor was on an actor named Harry Anderson. And I used to watch him on PAX TV, so that just tells you how totally lame this crush really was. I used to watch him on PAX TV. He had this show on there called Dave's World. I was completely infatuated with the guy, so I looked him up on the internet, and when I found out he was 52 years old, I got so depressed because I was like, oh gosh, he's so old, he'll be dead by the time I'm old enough to, you know, go out with him. I was totally crushed. Crushed over Harry Anderson. Look him up, and then you will realize how completely crazy this crush was. And I don't know what it was about the guy, but I was nuts about this guy, and it was the first, like, huge crush that I ever had on an actor. My first, like, real huge crush, anyway. So, I think Harry Anderson kind of started that whole crazy thing with me liking older guys. Fact number three. And this may seem just a little bit crazy, but my biggest number one fear is throwing up. It makes me nervous to even talk about it or to even mention it in a video. But I know a lot of people are like, you know, some of the normal fears that people have is like claustrophobia. Some people are afraid of heights. A lot of people that I know are afraid of spiders. Some people are afraid of snakes. But I am afraid of throwing up, and I would actually rather, you know, like, parachute off a tall cliff or be covered in spiders than throw up. But, yeah, my number one fear is throwing up. Actually, if given the choice, I would rather lose fingers than throw up because it just utterly terrifies me so much. And some of you people might be laughing right now, but this is a thing that just scares me to death for some reason. So, it's probably a fact that you didn't know and many people don't know because it just makes me, oh, it makes me nervous to talk about it. Fact number four. Of my 18 years of being alive, I have only ever had one boyfriend. Yes, that's right. One boyfriend in my entire life. And some of you right now are going, Wow, really? Oh my gosh, just one boyfriend? A girl that hot? And then the other people, the other group of people are laughing their heads off going, <laughs> Yeah, 
I do, I figured that already. And I don't see what all the hype is about. I don't see why every girl's gotta get one. It was really light. I actually made me really nervous to have a boyfriend because I knew that we weren't gonna get married. So I just kept freaking out because I was like, eventually, I'm gonna have to break up with this guy or he's gonna break up with me. So I used to sit in my room and think about it. I'd be like, well, I sure hope I break up with him first because I gotta, you know, I gotta be the one that puts my foot down and has the final word. Yeah, he broke up with me in a week. He called me up one day and he's like, so I'm bored. And I was like, yeah. He's like, so I just figured I would, you know, go ahead and call and break up with you. I was like, <laughs> gee, thanks. Which was actually okay because he was kind of a mama's boy and the only date that we ever went on, he brought his mother to the movie theater with us and she sat in between us. I enjoy the single life, but um, there are a few guys that i am definitely, you know, changed that for. Fact number five. The first time that I ever got to use a camera and really started to get an interest in filming things was on my 10th birthday. Because the main thing that I wanted for my 10th birthday was for my mom and dad to let me use my grandma's old camera, which was at our house. And that was like one of the main things that I wanted for my birthday. Because I'd always been interested in making films and videos. And so I really, really wanted to make a movie with all of the Barbies that I got for my 10th birthday. So mom and dad let me use the camera. The very first film that I ever made was called The Claw. And I made it with those um, Generation Girl Barbies, you know? And it was a really, really cheesy movie. But ever since then, I've just loved filming and that's when I really started to realize that that's what I wanted to do like forever was just film stuff because as soon as they let me have the camera I was so excited and eventually that camera did get ruined while I was filming an underwater scene. Nobody explained to me that you couldn't put the camera in a bathtub full of water so Grandma was just a little bit upset. <laughs> but it didn't stop me from getting a brand new camera and continuing to make films. And now for the fun part of this video. I get to tag five people, whoever I choose. And I think that these five people that I picked and selected have not been tagged already. At least I hope not. So, basically, all of you people that got tagged, if you don't know what it is, it's just basically this. You make a video about yourself, five facts about you. So, please do that, and when you're done, send me the links to those videos that you made, because I would love to know more about you five people. So I hope those five facts about me were at least semi-interesting and shed a little bit more light on the magic of Sarah or whatever. <laughs> so, until next time, bye.